folks, today on Super Float, we have Mega Cube versus Santa Sly. Well, folks, who do you think is going to win? Find out after these zero ads. JoJo Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today, we're going to be learning about the physics of flotation. It's really easy, I promise. We're even going to make a metal float. Have you ever seen a giant cruise ship? They look huge, and they are huge. Do you see how big this cruise ship is? The people look like ants. What is this, a cruise ship for ants? They weigh thousands of tons, but they still manage to float in the water. But how do these big giant boats made out of metal float? You'll see how scientists and engineers get big metal boats that weigh tons and tons to float. And we're going to do a bunch of different experiments so we can discover the physics of flotation. Have you ever noticed how when you jump into water, you seem to weigh less? This is because of Archimedes' principle. Anything that goes into water experiences an upward force. But how much force? Let's ask my friend Archimedes. He was a scientist from long ago. What's up, Archimedes? Well, I don't know. I'm just floating some ideas around. Har, 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 har. Maybe you should shave some of that beard. I can hardly hear you. Well, the upward force is equal to the weight of the water displaced. The law of flotation states that an object experiences an upward force equal to the weight of the water it displaces. You got it! You made Einstein happy! Good job! <laughs> Everything that floats in water floats in water because the weight of the water that the object displaces is greater than the weight of the actual object. So to get something to flow, you need it to displace more water. This also works for air, which is why helium balloons float in air. Helium balloons weigh less than the air it displaces. Therefore, they float. I can see my house from up here. Gravity's always bringing me down. Stupid gravity. For our first experiment, we're gonna make metal float. You heard right, we're gonna make metal float. Just like a cruise ship. <laughs> I have here two pieces of aluminum foil that are the same size and weight. We're going to fold these two pieces of foil into different shapes. And we're going to see which one's going to float and which one's going to sink. We're going to try both of these in water and see what happens. Today, we're gonna play a game called Sink or Float. Hey folks, today on Sink or Float, we have Mega Cube versus Santa Sly. So, who do you think will win? Mega Cube or Santa Sly? Let's see. First up is Mega Cube. Mega Cube sinks. The only thing Santa Slay has to do now to win the competition is float. Santa Slay wins! These two pieces of foil were the, were the same size and weight. But why does one sink and why does one float? Hmm. Santa Slay floats because it displaces more water than Mega Cube. And Mega Cube sunk because it did not displace a lot of water. And we squeezed out all the air. So Santa's sleigh experiences a bigger upward force than Mega Cube, therefore it floats. I bet you I can get Mega Cube to float without changing his shape. See? It floats. Santa's sleigh displaces enough water to hold up both of them. Pretty cool, right? That's how cruise ships can hold a bunch of people, and potted plants, and donuts, and employee people, and food stands, and all that other cruise ship stuff. Let's see how many pirates I can get to float in Santa's sleigh. Four, can I get five? Five, oh, it's getting a little crowded. Six, whoa, it's kind of crowded in here. Uh-oh, we're 
I'm sinking! Abandoned ship! Ah. Yup, that's right folks, it's round two of Sink or Float. This time we have Diet Coke and we have Coca-Cola. Who will win? Let's see, who do you think will win? First up is Diet Coke, folks. What will happen? Folks, Diet Coke sinks to the bottom and then floats back up to the top. What happens with Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola sinks to the bottom, tries to float back up, but does not. Amazing, folks! Diet Coke wins this round! Why does Diet Coke float while regular Coke sinks? Both cans are the exact same size and they're made of the same material. And they each have 355 milliliters of liquid in them. So why does this one sink and this one floats? Well, here's your answer. Coca-Cola has 39 grams of sugar dissolved into it. Well, Diet Coke has a lot less dissolved solids. You see, in Diet Coke, they use a, they use a stronger sweetener. So they don't have to use as much to get the same sweetness as Coca-Cola. The amount of dissolved sugar in Coca-Cola makes it a lot more dense than Diet Coke. Man, it suddenly smells fruity in here, but I don't know why. Do you know Mr. Orange? Wait a minute, it's you Mr. Orange. Aren't you glad I showed up? Yup, I am, cause I know the perfect experiment to do with you. Well, where's your clothes Mr. Orange? Oh, uh, well I already got peeled so I don't have any right now. Hey, I think I can smell more fruit. Uh, is that me? Hey, look! It's a not peeled orange. Hi, Mr. Orange. Hey, that's my name. That's my name, too. Yeah! In round three of Singer Float, we have orange versus no clothes orange. Which one do you think is gonna float? I'm obviously gonna beat you. Hey, where's your clothes, mister? I'm skinny dipping. I just got peeled. Anyway, I'm lighter than you. There's no way you can beat me. Now let's do this. Woo! Yeah, I could do better than that. Sorry, no clothes orange. The regular orange floats because air is still trapped under its peel. And it displaces more water than the peeled orange. Yeah, I want because of science. Well, the peeled orange sank because water got into all the spaces where air was held and all the air came up as bubbles. So that's where those bubbles came from. Thanks for playing sink or float with us. If you like this game, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. Ring the bell so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, sink or float is fun and science. Here it floats. Unbelievable folks. Next up is Santa Slide. Can you see me through this aquarium filled with water? But wait, there's more. <laughs> For the first experiment, we're gonna make metal float. I'm skinny dipping. I'm gonna beat you like bacon. Choco fusion. 